CS Viewer is a free tool from the makers of EasyMorph, allowing you to view, profile, filter, and search data files. Loading a data file into CS Viewer is simple. It supports many industry standard data file formats, including delimited files such as CSVs or tab separated files, EasyMorph dataset files, Click QVD files, Apache Parquet files, or even data copied and pasted from the Windows clipboard. Simply choose your source file type, select the file you wish to open, and click Apply. Alternatively, you can drag and drop files from Windows File Explorer directly into CS Viewer. Now that you have a file loaded into CS Viewer, you can begin to explore and filter the data it contains. On the left of the screen is the file overview, where you are able to reload the data from the file if it changes. Edit any configuration options for loading the file, as well as loading a different source file. At the bottom of the screen is the data view, which displays the full set of data contained in the file. And above the data view is the filter panel. To begin filtering, drag any column from the data view to the filter panel. Multiple fields can be added to the filter panel, allowing you to combine filters. By default, filters show you the distinct list of values found in the field as well as the number of times they occur. Selecting one or more values in the filter and clicking on apply will filter the data accordingly. The data view immediately refreshes to show the data returned by the filter. Unlike in Excel and many other tools where applying a filter hides any values that do not relate, CS Viewer uses an associative filtering model instead. Values being filtered upon appear in blue, with all other values appearing in either white or grey, indicating whether they relate to the filter or not. This ability to see the values that both are and aren't associated with the applied filters can provide valuable additional insights into the data. As well as filtering by specific values, CS Viewer also allows you to filter in other ways. These additional methods of filtering are known as facets and can be accessed from the drop down menu in the top left corner of each filter. The profiler facet allows you to see and filter upon the different data types within a field. This can be valuable for identifying where there may be data quality problems. As can be seen in this example, we have two records which appear to have an invalid ID. I can select and apply the filter to these unexpected data types, allowing us to identify where Erinus data exists. The time periods facet allows you to filter numeric date and timestamp fields based upon their year, quarter, month, week, or date. We can select the desired grouping, pick the range we are interested in, and apply the filter. This makes applying filters for large ranges of dates much easier and quicker than trying to select all the individual dates instead. It can also be more useful for identifying dates which fall outside of the expected range. The thresholds facet allows you to define and filter numeric values based upon customizable ranges, also known as bucketing. The thresholds that define the ranges can be adjusted as needed. And as with other filter types, we can select one or more ranges and apply the filter. And lastly, the text length facet allows us to view and filter based upon the length of text values. As well as identifying extremely large strings of text, it can be also useful for identifying data quality issues in fields of a fixed length as in this example, where our industry codes are expected to always be four characters long. Note that it is possible to add the same field to the filter panel more than once, allowing us to combine filters in different facets to the same field. More facets will be coming to CS Viewer in future versions. As well as using the profiler facet, CS Viewer also provides some additional tools for profiling data. Right clicking on any cell in the data view and selecting profiler will display the cell profiler dialog, providing information about the value. 
As we can see, what looks like a numeric value is instead text. The cell profiler can also be left open while selecting other cells, allowing us to rapidly explore the data. And the table metadata dialog can also be valuable for seeing a high level profile of the entire table, including the number of distinct values, their uniqueness, any errors or empty values, and the different data types. CS Viewer also allows us to create one or more charts based on the data in our file. Clicking on Add Chart on the menu bar will open the Chart panel and add a blank chart ready for us to populate. Let's add a category to group the data in the chart and a calculation to be performed for the series. Editing the chart provides additional display options such as a sort order, the chart type including bar chart, line chart, and scatter charts, and many more. As well as adding additional graphical charts, you can also create cross table charts, much like pivot tables in Excel. Having explored and filtered our data file, we can also save the filtered data set to a new file. Select Export from the menu, click on Filtered Data Set, and select the file type where we wish to save it, and even which columns to include. Charts can also be copied as an image or the underlying tabular data, allowing you to share your findings by pasting them into presentations, documents, or emails. We can also save our current view, including the filters that have been applied, allowing us to reopen them at any time. This can be especially useful when we want to perform the same analysis and filtering on a new version of our data file. And saved views can also be shared with others, allowing collaboration across the business. CS Viewer works seamlessly with EasyMorph, allowing you to load the same data file into EasyMorph with a single click. The filters you've applied are even carried across, ready for you to transform the data however you need using the almost 200 actions available in EasyMorph. You can download CS Viewer for free by visiting csviewer.com, where you can also find out more details about using CS Viewer in Teams. You can also download the free version of EasyMorph Desktop by visiting easymorph.com navigating to the EasyMorph desktop downloads page.